Preparing the DS200. Please use two offices of election, one to do the setup and the other to read the instructions. You will need to retrieve the red key ring from the chief officer. Contact the office immediately if there are any issues. Use the scissors from the small red bag to cut the blue outer seal on the front of the black ballot box. Use the silver key to unlock and open the emergency ballot bin. This is the top door on the front of the black box. Swipe your hand inside to ensure it is empty. Close and lock the emergency ballot bin. Use the silver key to unlock and open the bottom front door of the ballot box. Remove the blue ballot bin from the ballot box. Unlock the blue ballot bin with the silver key. and remove all contents. Close the flaps of the blue ballot bin and place it back inside the DS200. Open the flaps, close and lock the front door. Use the silver key to unlock and open the rear access panel of the DS200. Unwrap the power cord and plug it into the surge protector. Make sure the surge protector is in the on position. A small beep will signify that the machine is receiving power. Check all power connections if there is no beep. Leave the access panel open. Use the silver key to unlock the lid. Pull the latches out and up to lift the lid. The lid will lift slowly on its own once fully unlocked. Use the black barrel key to unlock and open the DS200 screen. Raise the screen to its fully upright position. The DS200 will power up. This will take a few minutes. Retrieve the blue verification worksheet from the clear voting machine bag. Verify the serial number on the machine matches the serial number recorded on the verification sheet. Then verify the red tamper evidence seal number matches the number recorded on the memory card compartment seal number on the blue verification worksheet and initial the worksheet. Do not remove these tapes. Verify the precinct name and number are correct on the screen. The configuration report will be printed followed by the ballot status accounting report. Press open poll. The scanner will automatically print two zero totals reports. Make sure all totals read as zero. It is okay if all officers sign the tapes, but the chief and assistant signatures are required. Tear off the tapes. Cut off the second zero tape. Leave all other tapes attached to one another. Staple the tape with the configuration report, ballot status accounting report, and the first zero tape to the label general registrar copy statement of results. Staple the second zero tape 
to the labeled circuit court copy statement of results. Press go to voting mode. Verify the public count is zero. The DS200 is now ready. Refer to the animation on the screen to instruct voters on how to insert their ballot. Ballots may be inserted in any configuration, face up or face down. If the DS200 stops accepting ballots, please use the emergency ballot bin. Obtaining the DS200 results tapes. Please use two officers of election, one to shut down the equipment and the other to read the instructions. You will need to retrieve the red key ring from the chief officer. Contact the office immediately if there are any issues. Use the silver key to unlock the emergency ballot bin top front door. Insert the ballots, if any, into the DS200. Close and lock the emergency ballot bin. Retrieve the blue system seals accountability form from the clear voting machine bag. Remove the red tamper evidence seal from the access panel and place it on the blue system seals accountability form. Use the black barrel key to unlock the access panel. Press the close poll button. Press close poll when it appears on the screen. The ballot accounting status report will begin to print followed by three copies of the voting results report and one copy of the write-in review report. There are no write-ins in a primary. Tear off the tape and call in your results. Sign all tapes and staple the ballot accounting status report in the first results tape to the labeled General Registrar copy statement of results. Staple the second results tape to the labeled Circuit Court copy statement of results. Staple the third results tape to the yellow printed return sheet. Staple the first write-in review report on the labeled General Registrar Copy Statement of Results write-in certification sheet. During a general or special election, it will be necessary to print an additional write-in review report. Press Report Options, select Write-in Review Report, and press Print Report. Once printing has finished, press Cancel. Tear off the tape and place it on the labeled Circuit Court Copy Statement of Results Write-In Certification Sheet. Press Finish to turn off. The machine will power off. Remove the thumb drive and place it in bag 7C once the light on the power button goes out. Use the black barrel key to close and lock the access panel. Retrieve the new seal from the envelope labeled Extra Seals. Record the new seal number on the blue System Seals Accountability form and place the new seal on the door. Place this form in bag 7C. Use the silver key to unlock the ballot compartment. Close the flaps of the blue ballot bin and remove the blue ballot bin from the DS200.
Remove the counted ballots from the blue ballot bin and place them in envelope or box number three. Use the silver key to close and lock the flaps of the ballot bin. Place the ballot bin back inside the DS200. Use the silver key to close and lock the door to the ballot compartment. Use the black barrel key to close and lock the DS200. Use the silver key to close and lock the lid. Unplug the power cord from the surge protector and place it inside the rear access panel. Use the silver key to close and lock the panel. Place the DS200 inside the red cart, referred to the image of packed cage. <laughs> 